hello guys welcome back to the channel today we have an exciting topic to take you through guys we are going to be looking at rearing rabbits for meat production if you're looking for a sustainable efficient and rewarding way to produce high quality meat you have come to the right place and this is a video for you make sure that you watch the video from beginning to end now guys let's kick things off by exploring why rabbit farming for meat production is gaining popularity around the world today. Beyond being an excellent source of lean protein, rabbits have a remarkable reproductive rate. Rabbits reach maturity quicker, meaning that you can be able to multiply your rabbits within a short period of time. So now having a remarkable reproductive rate and being able to reach maturity very quickly makes rabbits a highly efficient option for you guys who are looking to venture into meat production. So now before you embark on the journey of rearing rabbits for meat production, there are certain things that you have to interest yourself with that will help you succeed when it comes to rabbit meat production. The first thing you're going to look at when rearing rabbits for meat production is going to be the type of breeds to rear. So make sure that you have selected the right breeds to rear on your farm. And these breeds should be the breeds that grow fast and gain weight in the shortest time possible. Remember, you're going to be rearing your rabbits for meat production. So you're going to be looking at these breeds that are known for their rapid growth and have high quality meat yield. So here you're going to be looking at breeds like the New Zealand White, the California Rabbit, and the Flemish Giant. These rabbits are known for their rapid growth, so they can be able to grow from the bunny stage to maturity stage where you can harvest meat from them in a very short time. And they are also known for their high quality meat. Then guys, the growth and the quality of meat of rabbits is going to go hand in hand with the feeding of these rabbits. So you're going to look at the nutrition of your rabbits on the farm. Rabbits that are reared for meat production have a different kind of diet as compared to other rabbits. Remember these rabbits, you would want them to gain a lot of weight in a short time, but make sure that this nutrition is balanced. Make sure that your rabbits are not overfed. This can lead to obesity and can bring you some different kinds of health issues. Make sure that you're giving your rabbits the right quantities of feeds and the right quality of, of feeds. So here you can feed these rabbits on hay. You can feed them on special pellet. And sometimes you can feed them on some green grass. So for us here on our farm, we generally feed our rabbits on hay and some pellets but make sure that you create a schedule for feeding your rabbits make sure that you have a schedule that you maintain on your farm you should not always change this as it will affect the growth and the health of your rabbits also when it comes to nutrition make sure that your rabbits have clean safe water on the farm rabbits like any other animal have a certain content of water in their body so they need to be hydrated all the time make sure that you have installed an automated water system on your farm that will ensure that your rabbits have clean safe water all the time this is going to help this is going to help your rabbits in gaining weight and since you're rearing these rabbits for meat production this is going to be very crucial then the other thing you're going to look at is to make sure that your rabbits have a proper housing structure on the farm. Make sure that you have constructed a well comfortable environment for these rabbits to be able to live. And this should be able to protect these rabbits from harsh weather conditions and any other kind of predator that may harm these rabbits. Make sure that your cages or hatches are spacious enough on the farm. Your rabbits are, are able to move around and exercise as this is very important when it comes to the health of your rabbits. The other thing you're going to look at is the health care of your rabbits on the farm. 
Remember, sea crabs are not going to be able to gain weight. So if you want your rabbits to, to gain weight in a very short time, you should make sure that your rabbits are healthy and free from all kinds of diseases. So you should make sure that you carry out regular health checks on your farm. You can invite a veterinary officer to come and check on your rabbits. Then also you can look out for different kinds of signs that indicates that your rabbits are unwell. Then these rabbits are isolated and treated. Then also deworming will play a big part when it comes to the rabbit health and body weight of these rabbits. Make sure that you deworm your rabbits sometimes. This will help to kill the internal parasites that may be within your rabbits. A strong healthcare routine not only assures that your rabbits are healthy, but it also contributes to the higher productivity and the quality of your meat on your farm. So guys, now when it comes to meat production on the farm, you're going to look at the, the breeding practices that you have implemented on your farm. Breeding helps you in multiplying of your rabbits on the farm. And if you're rearing rabbits for meat production, you will need to have numbers on the farm so that you are able to supply the demand that is available. So implementing a sound breeding strategy will help you maintain the supply of meat from your farm to your potential customers. So you should make sure that you understand the reproductive cycle of your rabbits. You are selecting the right breeding pairs to be able to breed on your farm. If you're looking at meat production, make sure that you do not consider the local breeds. Local breeds of rabbit tend to grow very slowly and they tend to be very small. So they will not be able to provide you with a lot of meat. So I would advise you to consider the crossed breeds. And these who have already looked at them, I've said if you are venturing into meat production for rabbits, you should look at the New Zealand white, the California rabbit, the checkered giant. These are rabbits that have rapid growth and high quality meat. The other aspect when it comes to rabbit meat production on the farm is you can look into value addition on your farm. So you can look to process this meat and be able to sell it in other kinds of products. This will help you broaden your market and it will also bring you new customers on your farm. So processing this meat will ensure that your meat is safe. It can be kept for a long period of time. It can be used in value-added products like sausages. You can use it in burgers and also in any other product that, that requires some meat content. So processing your meat can be able to offer you new market base that will help to bring added revenue to your farm. Now, the other aspect you're going to look at is the marketing of your meat product from the farm. So you will make sure that you build a market plan. So building a market for your rabbit meat involves understanding your target audience. So you should know the people you're going to sell the meat to. Creating a brand. So you should create an appealing brand for your farm. And also you will need to come up with a market strategy. So you can create different kinds of network with different kinds of local markets restaurants and you can also go direct to your customers make sure that you're providing the best quality meat you're branding it very well so that you'll be able to stand out within the market then also when it comes to marketing your products you can employ social media platforms you can be able to promote your rabbit meat via whatsapp you can send potential customers messages on whatsapp you can share meat products on your status on whatsapp you can also use x you can use facebook and any other social media platform where you can promote your rabbit meat product then also you can create a unique point let me say within a town or central business center where your potential customers can be able to locate you so also consider forming partnerships with different kinds of chefs or restaurants to be able to feature your rabbit meat on their menus. This can also create for you new avenues to be able to sell your rabbit meat. 
so there you have it guys rabbit farming for meat production is a comprehensive venture that evolves selecting the right breeds providing proper nutrition ensuring health care implementing an effective breeding strategy and then finally marketing your products so if you want to venture into rabbit meat production make sure that you are able to do all these things i've outlined above you will be able to grow your rabbit meat production venture into an empire so guys if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content on our channel and as always i'll catch you in the next video